Let's meet the starting lineup for New Orleans. At point guard, Devontae Graham. At center, Jonas Valanciunas. At the other guard position, CJ McCollum. At small forward, Brandon Ingram. At the other forward position, Zion Williamson. The head coach of the visiting team is Willie Green. And the starting lineup for the Pelicans. Up front, it's Williamson at the four. And Valanciunas at the five. The guard pair are Graham and McCollum. And it's Ingram in its small forward. Graham kicks to Valanciunas. Who's got ball? Graham against Ginobili. Now here's Graham. He's tightly guarded. And that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. Leonard, he's checked in for Blake Griffin. Myers Leonard. Here's Williamson, and that one drops. And, and how much strength is on display right there from Zion Williamson. 2022 is an anxious year for Zion Williamson fans waiting for his return. It's just not easy when your superstar gets hurt and because you want them back as soon as possible, but you also don't want to rush the healing process. And fans really had to be patient waiting for Zion to come back. And they've got a big year ahead of him. throw no good for Williamson love Zion's grit and determination Something about his NBA story has been easy to this point but he hasn't let that stop him from trying to get out here and continuing to dominate and it's the Pelicans ball Ingram outside it's to Williamson over LeBron that one rolling around and runs out Graham against Hardaway. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. First, foul. First, team foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Line for your home team. Penny Hardaway taking two shots. Oh. 
He misses the free throw. And he sinks the second. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. McCollum outside. Back to Ingram. New Orleans moving the ball around. Here's Williamson. And the Pelicans miss again. Williamson's gone one of three on the night. James finds Leonard. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. How about Leonard not letting the D get to him? Amazing that he maintains his balance, especially at his size on that shot. Pass to McCollum. Shot from free throw range. And the rejection by Leonard. To the inside. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Leonard's got his second bucket of the game to go. And this is right around the time when one team might start to pull away. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead, trying to put the other team away, and threatening here. And the shot goes Devante down. Grant. That's a nimble play from Devontae. Just put the ball on a string and shook that defender away. Now here's Ginobili. And Leonard gets it to go on the assist by Ginobili. Leonard's got six. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Now here's Ingram. Back to Graham. Ingram outside. Five on the clock. And there's the pass to McCullum. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. So for the Pelicans, Hayes is checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Nance comes in for Williamson. And Garrett Temple subbed in for Devontae Green. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. But three from McCollum. Again, McCollum missing. And here's Pippen. Durant in the corner, launches it, drills it from outside. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. And here is Ingram after the three-pointer from KD. The column with the ball. Now Pierce defending. And the quickness off the floor. And the insane reach. Well, one of the greatest shot blockers you'll ever see. And they have owned the paint so far. And the score reflects it. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Pelicans. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now. And... All they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. Ryan is checked in for Durant. The Pelicans also changing it up. Jones comes in for Ingram, and Lewis subbed in for McCullough. New Orleans trails by 12. Here's Hayes, and Hayes throws it down. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does grip. And Paul Pierce with the slam. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. And so it looks like the Pelicans will retain possession here. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And, and making a statement right away, letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. New Orleans making a switch here. Hernan Gomez is checked in. Lewis against Ginobili. Here's Jones. And that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. There's a minute left in the first quarter. Just two to shoot. 
Chamberlain trying to get open. And Pippen is a rugged defender, has tremendous length, and that helps him cover a lot of ground. And running with a full head of steam, but completely under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. Here's Hernan Gomez after Paul Pierce's score. Pippen with it. He's picked up by Nance. Ginobili, Ginobili, Ginobili. Ginobili outside. Passes it to Pierce. Over Jones. That's good from Paul Pierce on the assist by Ginobili. Ginobili's got three assists in the game. He couldn't stay in bounds, and that's going to be a turnover. Yeah, the body language right now is not looking good for this basketball team. The game might be out of reach, but they have to avoid mistakes like that. Nine seconds left to play in the first quarter. Bounce pass Pippen. Here's Chamberlain from down in the low post. It goes. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. They lead by 18, and we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. Got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you can't be careless with your shot selection out there because some of them are getting thrown back. They've got Ginobili. Chamberlain is out there with Pierce. Then there's Hardaway, and it's Pippen in at the three. No good from Valanciunas. And for New Orleans. The guard pair are Graham and McCollum. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas, and it's Murphy in at the small forward position. A very reliable shooter. Once Ginobili has the ball, you know what he's going to do with it. Stolen by Ginobili. One-on-one -on -one here. And that one's good by Chamberlain. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into easy points. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. Yeah, and even up big, still playing the right way, keeping that aggressive nature and attacking the rim. And like a car without brakes, Ginobili careens down the floor. I'm out called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, Coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it, make the adjustment. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Graham, the pass to Williamson. New Orleans moving it around. Pass to Ingram. Back to McCollum. Good D by Hardaway. Now how about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Ingram outside. Graham with the ball. Home team foul. Oscar Robertson. Jackson A's is checked in for New Orleans. Team foul. Checking in for New Orleans. Jackson Hayes. Here's Ingram. No points in the game yet for him. 
Pass to McCollum. And again, no good by New Orleans. Ryan against Ingram. Durant in the corner. Jacks up a three. Out to Hardaway. Another shot. He lays it in. Hardaway has got seven. Well, he's an explosive athlete Hardaway. with tremendous positional size. Hardaway has no issue mixing it up inside. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. And doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. Nancy's checked in for Williamson. Graham, the pass to McCollum. Back to Graham. Nance outside. They need this. And it's Graham missing. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Frustration seems to be mounting here. And you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. And the basket by McCollum. And Brandon Ingram at that size able to survey the entire floor and make a play. And the way C.J. McCollum Gray can get a shot up while moving, that's a big part of his game, isn't it? Yeah, very few players can shoot as well as McCollum on the run. Applies for his pull-up jumpers or when he's falling out of bounds. McCollum, one of the best in the league at it. So for the Pelicans, Garrett Temple has checked in for McCollum. And Lewis subbed in for Devontae Green. The pass to Leonard. Durant kicks to Hardaway. Shot clock at six. That shot off. Now New Orleans will take it the other way. Two minutes remaining. And there's the call on James. That is his first foul of the game. First personal foul. Second team foul. Hayes finds Nance. Now Lewis, nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Shot clock at five. Shoots a three. Defensively, here's what Hardaway gives you. The rare versatility to switch one through five, and he is always in help position. And Bryant gets it to go. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Shoots from the elbow, and he connects with the jumper. Durant's got seven points in the game. Able to find himself in the mid-range, that's a look that Kevin Durant will settle into. With his first shot attempt, good work defensively by KD. Shoots over Ingram, drills the baseline jumper. Nine points in the game so far. Well, they have a good plan going right now, and they're starting to create separation. The well, game plan might have been good, but you have to bring it together. Right now, their chemistry is something to be admired. Lewis with the three, and James pulls it down. James has got six rebounds in the game. Left side, Leonard. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Nance. Pretty slick move by Leonard. Catches the defender out of position and draws the foul. This is his first free throw of the game. Free throw drops for Leonard. One of the better free throw shooting bigs in the NBA. The challenge for Leonard as he develops is to try to get to the line a few more times. Catching up on the changes for New Orleans. Jonas Valanciunas, he's checked in for Hayes. Marshall comes in for Larry Nance. And it's Herbert Jones in for Brandon Ingram. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. And it's Leonard. That time on the assist by Ginobili. Ginobili's got his fifth assist in this one. They're getting beat up pretty badly out there. 
and I don't care what anybody says, you can't keep the status quo. If it ain't working, you got to make some changes. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Pippen, the pass to KD, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jones. Substitution on the court. Got it up. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. A dominating first half of basketball. And so far, hasn't been close. Delivering the blowout. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. second half of basketball for you we think it's going to be pretty good a big comeback though is needed for this game to be competitive and it probably has to happen quickly Myers Leonard has been sensational in those first two quarters he was pretty much an automatic bucket getter if he got it down low on the block yeah we'll see if the double teams start to come here in the second half to make them adjust offensively but he's going to keep going at him and there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Durant is out there with LeBron James. Then there's Ginobili. Then there's Griffin. And it's Jordan in at the two. And that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Williamson dishes to Ingram. New Orleans moving the ball around. McCollum kicks to Ingram. Six on the shot clock. Tipped away and stolen by James. Setting the floor now for the Pelicans. The forwards for him are a pair of Blue Devils. Ingram and Williamson. The guard pair are Graham and McCollum. And it's Valanciunas in at the five. Graham against Ginobili. And Durant sends it back. Instinct, timing, length. KD, great deep. Good. Jordan's got his first bucket in this one. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Back to Graham. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Jordan against McCollum. Chalk up two there. Ginobili's got six. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a scorer like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Williamson in the post. Durant's there. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. You know, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. First team foul. The Pelicans have started out 0 of 1 from the line, missing their only other attempt earlier. At the line for two. That free throw missing. It's the second from the line. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Durant, and then Durant with the dunk. And you can see why KD has won himself a couple scoring titles. Here's Graham. Ingram outside. Six to shoot. Deflects the pass. No good from Valanciunas. 
Smart anchor at passes, Greg, are really paying off for them at the moment. And also good off-ball movement. Everyone is paying attention and looking to create the best shot for the team. It is amazing how good a three-point shooter Jonas Valanciunas has become. Well, he didn't attempt a three in his first five years in the NBA, and now he's shooting a ton of them. So he's got great feel, great touch, and it's done a lot to round out his game. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Driving to the basket, and it's Mono Ginobili with the finish. Still with the explosive first step, Ginobili gains an angle on the drive, and trust me, he knows him well. Graham, the pass to Williamson. Two minutes remaining. Here's Graham. Third. Two minutes. They get it back. Down oh, Junis, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll first shoot two here. Foul. Second team foul. For New Orleans, they have gone one of three at the line Jones here. Valanciunas taking two shots. The free throw drops for Valanciunas. And Valanciunas, a uh, seasoned veteran now that you basically can count on as a double-double guy, even in limited minutes. He really does a great job of patrolling the paint. New Orleans making a switch here. Marshall, he's checked in for Williamson. Jones comes in for Ingram. Garrett Temple has checked in for C.J. McCollum. And Lewis subbed in for Devontae Green. Pippen with it. Jones covering. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. And he's on his way to the free throw line. Uh, and I like what the defense is thinking here, but Pippen gets physical inside and insists on getting to his shot. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. The Pelicans making a switch here. Hernan Gomez is checked in. And the Pelicans with the possession. Lewis kicks to Jones. Back to Lewis. Over to the wing. Pass to Jones. Clock at six. Poked loose. For three. And again, no good by New Orleans. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. Here's Pippen. Here's Leonard. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. I feel like when Myers Leonard plays significant minutes, he can get himself into the rhythm of the game. That's when a lot of his better offensive rebounding games come. They are enjoying a commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. Here's Lewis. That one a little long. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. And LeBron throws it down. I love how quickly the King got out there. The first two steps, getting that break started. And it's Jones with the ball for New Orleans. Outside for Lewis. Pass to Temple. To end the run. Trying to find Hernan Gomez. Gets it to him. Great D that time from Leonard. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. Delivering the blowout. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter.
And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this was? What an advantage if your off guard can make plays so valuable. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Chamberlain is out there with Pierce, and it's LeBron James. Then there's Ginobili, and it's Jordan in at the shooting guard position. He's becoming more and more reliable, LeBron James, in the twilight of his career, being able to knock down three-pointers. Man's trying to break loose. McCollum, no good. Chamberlain, the pass to Ginobili. The basket good off the assist from Chamberlain. That's 10 points for Manu Ginobili. He's showing his trademark aggressiveness inside. Ginobili was not going to be denied. Lewis kicks to McCullough. LeBron, that's a two-pointer, and they cash in right away with the quick shot. LeBron's got 11 points here in just the second half. McCollum outside, back to Lewis. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. And nothing is falling for him right now. And now, running up the court, Pierce pushing it up, and it's Ginobili finishing it off. And his passing is probably the most underrated part of his game. Pierce is a terrific playmaker on that wing. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. And guys, you've heard of overpassing. Well, that shot was an example of underpassing. Maybe they can find a way to establish some rhythm in the next few possessions with the extra pass. At this point, I don't know what you can do to slow this team down. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. Back to McCollum. Right side, Pierce. Now, here is Murphy. Pass to Lewis. Now here's McCollum. Fires from deep. He's off on that one. And not a way to get out of a funk. He needs to be looking for good, solid, more efficient shots. Not the wild one he took there. Ginobili can't hit. James against Lewis. Trying to get something going. Rebounded by Wilt Chamberlain. Chamberlain got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Pierce. That falls. Nice feed that time for Mono Ginobili. Eight points for Paul Pierce. Well, at this point in his career, playmaking is Manu's strong point. Locates the open man there. Two minutes for he passes to Nance. Two minutes. McCollum outside. Outside Murphy. And Pierce pulls it down. 149 left here in the fourth quarter. Ginobili. Yes, that goes in. Well, a throwback night here for Manu. He's playing quick and playing confident. Great to watch him score at this level. I'm oh, glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. Still going hard, and that kind of energy and effort is how they built this lead. Lewis kicks to Murphy. And there's the call on James. LeBron James. That's foul number two for him. So for the Pelicans, Hernan Gomez has checked in for Jackson Hayes. Marshall comes in for Nance. And Garrett Temple subbed in for C.J. McCollum. On the money with the open jumper. Excellent job of simply taking what the defense offered up. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Over to the left wing. A baseline J, and it's Chamberlain that time on the assist from Michael Jordan. Better to be lucky than good. Got that shot to fall. Chamberlain gone three for three from the floor. Knocked away. Robertson with the steal. Shot, high post. Offensive rebound. And Oscar Robertson with the slam. 
That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the boards. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. Here's Lewis, and Griffin sends it back. So Griffin using the vertical on defense. That's a scary thought. And George gets it to go. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. Lewis passes to Hernan Gomez. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. And here is Jordan. And it goes down two points. His skill at his size and then converting through contact. Such strength from the big man. So it's the Pelicans now. And the pass to Temple. Murphy with the ball. And they call an illegal screen here. That's green. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Lewis outside. And so the home crowd treated to a win. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps, and the execution was flawless. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you next time. Have a great